Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you how to use the Rhino to create this really organic form. And you can tweak into your design, it doesn't matter what industry you are, for those surface techniques. Are you ready? Let's get started. So before we start modeling, I'm going to hiding the bottom part. That part is pretty easy and you can achieve easily. For talking about this surface, uh, the most difficult one is the one on the top. So let me explode it and we are going to hiding everything else and just talking about this surface and how we get into that. So that's simply talking about the surface. Let's say I'm going to have any of the shape that I want. Uh, in this case, I want to have a rectangle with the corner. So I'm coming over here, right click and snapping into the zero. I want something, for example, look like this. All right, so this is a closed surface. If we wanted to fill it up this surface, we can simply just coming over here and we can use the surface from planar curve and we'll get this surface right there. Now, if we look at the perspective, well, you notice that this surface only have the two contour line there. All right, so if I turn on the control point, it only got one, two, three, four on four corner. And if you wanna edit this one, you pretty much get something like this. There's not much for us to edit. Then you probably will think, okay, I may need to have a more point and we can rebuild using a rebuild command and let's say we want a 10 by 10 over there, uh, which is a, a lot of like 100 point over there. And we want to make sure the degree is equal three and we click OK. Now, if I want to uh, turn on a control point, as you can see the point now, I can build it anything like that, right? Uh, if you just wanted to have something going up and something going down, this might be OK. But what about if I wanted to have the rim all going higher so maybe i can pick up here and maybe on the top view i'm i can pick up here i can pick up everything on the boulder right and we can kind of pull it up but you kind of notice that i pull my edge up too right and then you say maybe i'm going to pick up all the edges coming here with all the point right there and we are going to bring it down Right on the side view look okay, but it doesn't follow. If you look at the perspective, it doesn't follow this contour. It's more like a pillow shape there. It's more like a rectangular. It's because our uh, control point is arranged in the grid. So in order to make what we have over here, this kind of a surface, we cannot have our control point in the grid. We need to have into the radial. Uh, kind of uh, uh, direction. So let me go ahead and delete this one. And let me show you how I get into that part. We are going to um, center this. So align centers. It's a command I'm going to use and just type it zero there. All right. And I'm going to creating a profile. This profile and need to have something from the center as a guideline. So I simply just going to type it zero here and going up for whatever, how high you want it to have. Then we are going to use the um, control point curve. And we're gonna draw something like this. You can have it um, going up a little bit, have the edge coming up a little bit and snapping here and make sure the um, smart track is on so we can align to that point over there. Okay, so as you can see, I have some sort of a profile right there and I also have a rail right there. So in order to creating the surface, we can use the surface command and we have the rail revolve. It's not revolve, uh, revolve only give you the making into a circle. So we want a rail revolve. It's going to ask you here on the top, what is the profile curve? So it's this one. And what is the rail curve is this one. And what is the exit? We're going to go from this point to this point. So then we'll get something like that. Now, if you turn on the control point, you're going to notice that I have some point that I can edit, but I need a lot more, right? Because right at this point, I wanted to have it to bump up a little bit more, but I don't have a control there. 
So what you can do is you can click on this surface and you want to rebuild the surface. Notice that when we're adding more control point instead of the grid, because the structure was coming from the revolve, so they are actually making into the circle uh, for U and V direction. In this case, I need a lot more, let's say uh, 16 of them. And then so I have the middle part right here. I got two on the side. So when I pull this up, I won't affect it all the way to the side. OK, let's give it a try. I'm going to click OK. And now if I pick up those points, let's go ahead to use the wireframe. If I pick up those two points, actually, if I pick up this point and also this point, I'm able to do something like this. Right. If we look at the ghost view one more time, and I'm able to do something like that. And maybe this is like too tall, so I'm going to pick up here, 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 and we can have them going down a little bit. Right. Now you have the different um, direction, so you can do the editing that you like. Okay, so I say you keep editing and then you you do like it. Notice that after editing, after rebuild, it's not 100% to the original curve, right? So what we wanted to do, if we want to close it, and if this is thick enough, you can just use the cap command CAP and you are able to close it. If you do want them to be thicker, you can use the gumball and holding on the control and shift and you click on this one and we just want to extrude it a little bit more so we'll get something like this. Notice that those two extrusion, this extrusion and the original one, they are not joined together. So we need to join together and then we want to use the cap command. All right, so after that, simply just using the fillet. So we want to fit it edges and for one and then we'll get something like this. A lot of people think 3D model software is very hard, but you can see in this video, it's not that difficult. I help a lot of students in different industry using the Rhino for their career. If you are interested to learn the easiest way to using a Rhino 3D software, I have a JuryCAD masterclass. It's going to help you. Sign up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. Let me explain to you how that's going to help you on your jury cat learning journey. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.